Whiteboard Wednesday. Today, we're going to go over understanding your Bible. And I don't know if you've ever learned this or not. If you haven't, I think it's something really important to know. One, the Bible is the most important book ever produced, ever printed on planet Earth. So if you don't know the structure and scope of the scriptures, you're just kind of in the dark there. But we're going to go over this real quick. The Bible is a book and Bible, B-I-B-L-E, means book. It's from biblios in the Greek, which just means book. And we call it a holy Bible. So it means holy or special book. So that's what the Bible is. And it's 66 individual books with one kind of overarching arc and theme from start to finish. So that's the big scope, 66 books. And then it's broken up into two sections. You guys can probably guess. It's the Old Testament, we call it, and the New Testament. The Old Testament is 39 books, and the New Testament is 27 books. So that's the major division there. Now, I don't have any race or anything. <laughs> so those are our major divisions there. Thank you for the magic eraser. Now here's what you're going to need to know. Grab your Bible, if you have one available, and open it up to this thing called the Table of Contents. And I want you to understand how is this Old Testament put together? 39 books, and they're organized in a general chronological way, but they're also organized according to genre. So the first set of books, Genesis, through, it's always this one little book here. Ooh, Esther. This section we call the historical books. And then there's five other little books from Job or Job, whatever you want to call it, right? And that goes all the way down to our Song of Solomon's. So this is poetical. Now, don't be too silly and think, oh, just because it's poetical, there's no history, or just because it's historical, it's not poetical. Don't worry about that. But the last little section is the prophetical, the prophets, and that is, what's our little guy here say? Isaiah, all the way through Malachi. Now, our prophetic books are broken into two sections, the major prophets, that's Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, and Daniel. There are four books, and we call them the major prophets. And then there's the 12, we call the minor um, prophets. Now these guys, they're called major prophets because they wrote a lot, and then the minor prophets are called minor because they didn't write as much, but they're all just as important. So these prophetic guys, they wrote during the historical times, primarily during the times of the kings. So when you look at your Bible now and understand, well, what's the Old Testament about? Understand Genesis through Esther gives a historical timeline, start to finish. Job through Song of Solomon gives the poetical milieu of this historical timeline. And then Isaiah to Malachi is the prophets during that historical time. So once you kind of get a grasp of understanding the Old Testament, it just makes it a heck of a lot easier, especially if the pastor says, well, turn to Psalms. You're like, well, they're right in the middle because they're poetry. Or what is this random prophet I never heard of? Who is that? How, where are they from? Well, they're in the prophetic section. So that's our overview to help you understand the Bible. And I just wanted to give you the overview particularly of the Old Testament.